Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, you remember that spare tire? Remember we we mounted a uh, link in the description. Mongo decided time to get a cover on this thing. Mongo got this old uh, like a canvas cover thing. Take it from an old boat or something. Not in the best shape, but it should work to cover a spare tire. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Looks like there's already some sort of a cut thing here. And check out the other side here. Yep, some sort of a cut thing here. Kind of funny looking. Might be able to make it into a big shirt. Well, Mongo going to try real hard to cut a straight line all the way across. See how this goes. Well, we get our shape cut out, get a little cardboard down, and get the spare tire in here so we can make sure we do this right to size. So, idea being, you want to get that nice and centered, and then make sure, go around, make sure all the seams wrap around the tire. That one close. That one got a little extra, so we'll scoot her this way just a touch. And so, got a little better idea here. to there. That looking good. In essence, to get a nice little line, sorta, little curve. So kind of want to trim the excess material from these two points. Now you don't have to, just uh, you'll be dealing with excess material. But that folds up real nice. So we got our shape cut out and a whole bunch of these safety pin things. We're gonna go around and kind of overlap stuff. Because what we're going to end up doing is putting one of those holes from like a tarp in there. So we're going to safety pin where we want the hole to be, basically. Well, just above it. And yes, it's kind of a big pain in the butt because this fabric kind of tough. Idea being, the hole will go right there, but there's still enough flexibility to get the tire off. Well, get all the little safety pins in there, and want to make sure that they can actually come around and off the tire. If you go too tight, you won't get the tire out. So they kind of loose on here right now, which is just about perfect. Tires should come in and out of that real easy. So now we'll get the tire out of the way, because that's pretty good size, we thinking. So now we're going to add little those little whole grommet things you see in tarps and canvases and whatnot. So if you don't have one of those, they, they make a kit. Kit comes with some grommets, a piece of wood for some reason. This is the cutting tool, the anvil and die. If you do have these, you can just go get a whole bunch of these little grommet things. There's two sides to them. What you want to do is lay that little piece of hardwood under there. And again, we got those safety pins in there because we want the hole to be right below those. So then we take the cutting tool, put it on top of all those. So under that's the hardwood. And then use a light, a light hammer cut the hole out and now we have our hole then you'll take the die or the anvil and set that cup in it that way feed it through the holes then take the other piece and it's got one side's got a little round curve to it the other's recessed, so you'll do curve side up. And then put the die inside and hit it with a hammer. And you want to hit it and rotate the brass piece until it's nice and solid. And it doesn't move. And now we've just added a loop to our canvas. And it's not spinning. It's going to hold it tight. Again, the wood on the bottom. 
Then the cutter. Pull the wood out. The grommet with the nipple sticking up goes in the anvil. And then the opposite grommet, curved side up. Take our die. Hit it. Rotate it. Eh, maybe quarter, quarter turn. Rotate. And it won't rotate no more. There we go. So Mongo's gonna get the rest of these. Well, we got all the grommets in all the way around. So now we can take our little safety pins out. And we can clean up our seam a little bit. Just so it looks a little more uniform. Oh, that looks a little nicer. And we're gonna finish her up with a touch of paracord. So we're gonna kind of figure uh, top, bottom, that sort of thing. Start with just a knot. And then we're gonna loop it through all these. And we'll go back through the one we started on. So the one we start on is also the one we finish on. So the one we started and finished on is going to be at the top. And now we can put it on. And we'll feed our finish line down through underneath. So as we tighten this up, and pull all those loops on the inside real tight together. Which will keep it from moving. And so now Mongo just gonna pick a length that I think pretty good. Cut that guy, burn the ends so they don't unravel. And now this end's gonna get tied off, and Mongo figure the best place to do that right down here. And that'll keep that cover nice and taut. Well, now Mongo don't have to worry about the UV light eating away the tire, because UV light destroys rubber and tires. That's why Mongo wanted to get the cover made, so he can sit out here as a spare without getting wrecked. That should last a good long time now. Well, hopefully this video will help you if you ever have to make your own spare tire cover. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.